In a poignant display of familial support and care, Charles and Camilla were seen smiling as they arrived at the private London clinic and it's understood the pair paid a heartfelt visit to his daughter-in-law, Princess Catherine, who is on the 11th day of her hospital stay after undergoing successful major operation last week. The Princess of Wales, now still in recovery from abdominal surgery, received the comforting presence of the monarch amidst the grandeur of the royal family's responsibilities. The king prioritized a visit to his beloved daughter-in-law at London Clinic before embarking on his own medical journey. Princess Catherine found comfort in the presence of her father-in-law, bridging the generational and hierarchical gap that's often characterized royal interactions. The visit noted as atypical for royal family members, who often adhere to more conventional timelines, underlined the close bond between shared King Charles and Catherine. And the presence of the Queen Consort this time, alongside the King during his hospital visit, has sparked discussions among royal observers. Camilla is known as a pillar of support accompanied the 76-year-old monarch as he arrived at the hospital. His wife, Queen Camilla previously said, Charles is fine and looking forward to getting back to work. Some view her accompanying the King as an unusual move compared to past practices of other members of the royal family. However, her supportive role and the reassurance she provides to the public about the king's health emphasize the importance of family bonds within the royal household. In the face of health challenges, the royal family's unity and genuine care for one another take center stage, portraying a story of resilience, support, and familial love. King Charles is expected two nights stay in the hospital for his prostate surgery. Serves as a reminder of the vulnerabilities even more arcs face. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said, The King was this morning admitted to a London hospital for scheduled treatment. His Majesty would like to thank all those who have sent their good wishes over the past week and is delighted to learn that his diagnosis is having a positive impact on public health awareness. And Queen Camilla looked in good spirits after visiting the king this afternoon. She declined to answer any questions from reporters as she entered a waiting car outside the hospital, near Regent's Park in the center of the capital. The queen had previously said her husband is fine and looking forward to getting back to work. It is not known how long Charles will spend in the hospital back in London from Norfolk on Thursday afternoon, ready for the procedure after squeezing in a couple of behind-the-scenes official duties. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has wished Charles the very best for his treatment and a speedy recovery afterwards. A Downing Street spokesman said, The King hopes to encourage other men experiencing similar symptoms to seek medical advice and prioritize their health. His decision to postpone his engagements for a recuperation period following his prostate procedure highlights the importance of responsible health. Management and self-care. Surgery is usually only recommended for moderate to severe symptoms that have not responded to medicine. The NHS website says, Treatment can include a number of procedures, including removing part of the prostate gland with a laser, water ablation using the pressure of the water to destroy prostate tissue, or urethral lift implants, which hold the enlarged prostate away from the urethra so it is not blocked. Other options include a prostate artery embolization, during which tiny plastic particles are injected into blood vessels to shrink the prostate gland by reducing its blood supply. Despite his reputation as a workaholic, the king recognizes the need to prioritize his health and well-being, setting an example for others to follow the diagnosis of an enlarged prostate. While common in men over the age of 50 does not usually pose a serious threat to health according to NHS, however, understanding the symptoms and implications of this condition is crucial for early detection and management, underscoring the importance of public health awareness and education.